y'all forgive me for my voice i'm a little under the weather but i really wanted to make this video so you may have seen this video before from me that's because youtube took down the first one so i got to be careful on what i say on this video y'all i want to help you stop buffering when it comes to third-party apps because i think there's a lot of confusion there i think some people believe there's like some kind of magic setting or something you can do to your device itself to stop buffering but no when it comes to buffering on third-party apps it's mostly about your internet connection i'm gonna show you this quick example so what i say makes more sense this here is a normal youtube video one of one of my videos but look what happens if i try to change the quality to one of these high high qualities here you see, we get buffered. If I wanted the video to play as smooth as possible, all I have to do is go down and select one of these lower qualities and the video plays without any issues. So what you just saw was me manually going into just the video quality to match my current internet speed. In first party apps, this normally happens automatically, so you don't have to go in manually and do it. But on the third party apps, we do have to be mindful of which streams we select. So if we're further away from the internet modem, if your internet modem is, is two rooms or three rooms away or upstairs and you're downstairs and you're trying to stream something on your, on your streaming device, you got to be mindful, okay, I can't play the 4Ks, I can't play the, the, the 1080Ps, the higher stream qualities because the weaker the connection or the further away you are from the modem, the harder it's going to be to play those higher quality streams. So... In those scenarios, we have to drop down on the list and pick a lower quality stream that, that better matches our internet connection, our current internet connection. So that's the first issue. We gotta be mindful of our current internet connection. So in rare cases, it's not about the distance, but sometimes it's about the time of day. So you gotta be mindful of that too. At different times of the day, your internet can either slow down or speed up. So it's not really, a set speed even though you pay for like a certain speed it's more like a like a meter so it's always depending on the day and the usage it just drops and raises it drops and raises throughout the day so if you're trying to stream something at like 7 p.m and you're noticing you're getting a lot of buffering at times but if you try to stream something similar at like midnight and you see that it's playing fine that's why now the second issue could be the app and the second issue kind of fits with the first issue because the only difference in different apps is some apps do have more streams available. So the more streams you have available, the better chances you have to pick a stream that better fits your internet connection. You'll notice some third party apps, when they give you that stream list, the streams are identical. So technically there's only like two streams they list for the show or movie but they'll list it over and over for some reason and make it look like 20 streams but in reality it's just the same two so i noticed an issue that i had myself and i think a lot of uh, you guys are having you'll go play one and see it's buffering then you go down to play another one and see it's buffering but in reality we're just playing the same streams what I did myself, when I had that problem, I had to switch apps. I switched to a better app. I can't say in this video which apps I'm talking about, but just, just meet me down in the comment section and we can chop it up there. But I switched to a better app and I didn't have that problem anymore. But it's, it's rare. Like this issue when it comes to the apps, that's, that's rare. Mainly it's issue number one with our internet connection. Now issue number three, say if you have flawless internet, you're right next to the modem. You have a direct connection to the modem. You don't use Wi-Fi, but you still get buffering. This issue is kind of out of our hands because when we use these apps, they're free to use apps, meaning anyone all over the globe can download it and use it. So you got everyone worldwide using these apps, using the exact same streams that you're using at the exact same time. So this creates traffic. Like a crazy example, say if you're going down a water slide by yourself, of course you're going to go down smooth, but say if five other people jump in and say, okay, we want to go down at the same as that time as you, of course you're not going to go down as smooth, and that's what creates the buffering when it comes to these apps. So these free streams, what I'm calling the free streams is when you download the apps and you just jump on, you don't add anything, 
using free streams that's free to the public. So if everyone jumps in on the stream you're watching at the same time, you get buffering. This is normal, unfortunately. So to me, the best solution for issue number three is Real to Bread. So Real to Bread works with pretty much all the third party apps that you know of. But I won't get to like how to use it and how to set it up in this video because I made like a, a whole video explaining everything from A to Z. So I'll keep that in, a, in the video description down below if you want to check it out. But just to tell you a little bit about Real to Bread before you leave this video. So you have the free streams that's free to the public that everybody uses and shares and watches at the same time. But when you add Real to Bread to the third party app, it adds even more streams. So you got the free streams on this side and it emits in the premium streams. So I say premium because of course you have to pay a little something to get these premium streams. Now I feel like a lot of people just clicked off <laughs> when I said pay. But if you're still here, it's like dirt cheap. It's like McDonald's value menu, dirt cheap, y'all. But say you got it and you got the free streams going on and you got the premium streams. So like the water slide example, you can't stuff everybody down a water slide with the free streams. So of course it's gonna be buffering. But the premium streams is just for you. It's just your personal streams. So you don't have to worry about trying to stuff yourself in the water slide with everybody else with the free streams. You got these premium streams here. You can choose at any time that you can just go down freely without any issues. Now this solution is if you have good internet. So if you have slow internet and you're still using, trying to use the premium streams and you're still getting buffering, you already know why. You gotta be, you gotta be honest with yourself. If you got weak internet connection and you're still saying, hey, I did everything I can, I'm still getting buffering, hey, you need to, up your internet speed. If you want to know more about having these premium streams real to bread, these more personal streams that you don't have to share with the public, you can click that video down below. But for this video, that's all I have for you guys. Again, I wanted to make this because this is a question I get at least like once a month for like the past four years. At least once a month, I get how do I stop buffering. So to me, this is one of the most important videos on my side when it comes to the streaming community. But all right, y'all, if you have any questions or anything, please let me know down below. That's all I have for you. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out.